Hello guys, it's Washing by Nature and today I have for you a video about a very controversial topic. Which video card for gaming you should choose, Nvidia or AMD? To be able to explain the differences, I will talk about two points. The first point is performance and the second point is software that comes with each video card. Performance wise, video cards from both companies are in, uh, which are in the same price bracket will perform almost identical. As an example, I'm showing you a chart from Tom's hardware site, I will post a link in the description of this video, in which you can see two columns and in each column are shown corresponding video cards from both companies. As an example, Nvidia GTX 780 will perform almost identical as AMD R9 290 or Nvidia's GTX 770 will perform almost identical as R9 280X. Of course this is very general speaking because uh, performance is dependent on what video game you are actually playing. As an example Watch Dogs is optimized for Nvidia video cards while Battlefield 4 is optimized for AMD video cards. But actually performance margins are so small that you probably won't be able to see it during gameplay. Uh, while talking about performance, I can mention technologies that are developed by both companies for improving frame rates or visual enhancements like AMD Mantle or Nvidia PhysX, but those technologies must be supported by the game developers, so in one game you may see some differences, while in another you won't. For example, using AMD Mantle in Battlefield 4 will improve your frames per second between 10 and 30%, or Nvidia PhysX in Assassin's Creed 4 will allow you to show more visual effects while preserving the performance. So to be able to sum the first point up, performance wise, you won't go wrong with cards from each of both companies. The second point of this comparison is software that comes with the, with the video cards. And I can say that for this point Nvidia wins. We have software such as GeForce Experience with which you can automatically set video game settings for best performers or another example is Nvidia Shadowplay with uh, which you can record gameplays without losing much frame rates per second because uh, it uses the video card processor to encode the recordings or another technology like Nvidia Shield with which you can stream each game from your computer to a handheld device with a gamepad so you can play your games wherever you like those were actually those were some of the Nvidia softwares uh, but AMD software wise is lacking behind. To sum the battle between the AMD Nvidia and, and Nvidia, I can say that if you are not going to use the software applications that Nvidia offers, you won't go wrong with each company. So the actual final decision is left to, to what kind of offer you may find for a video card from your price range no matter which is the manufacturer of the video card processor. I hope that this video was informative for you, please leave a, a rating and don't forget to subscribe. The only thing that's left is to wish you have a nice day.